In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Animation Transitions from Alex4D. Animation Transitions is a huge set of preset animations to move footage, graphics, and text around on screen. Animation Transitions was designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find them in the Transitions browser under Alex4D Animation. There are tons of presets. If I go to the Themes browser, the effects are divided into three categories. Alex 4D Animation are effects that can be quickly applied to footage and are divided into Grow, Move, Shrink, and Spin. Alex 4D Animation preset are effects that demonstrate a wider set of features. And Alex 4D Master includes two effects that give you a starting point for creating your own custom transitions. With 120 effects to choose from, it's easiest to use the search bar to narrow down your search or find exactly what you need. I've got a photograph I'd like to animate over some racing footage. Let's check out some of the presets. Simply drag a transition onto a clip and adjust its duration to get started. Let's take a look at Move Down to see how these animations work. In the parameters, you can choose between an in or out animation. We have transform controls to tweak where the picture arrives from. The Out Move Opposite option keeps the picture moving in the same direction if you copy its transition to the end of the clip and change its kind to Out so it animates the picture off the screen. We can adjust the fade in and out percentage and choose how springy the animation is ranging from very springy to none at all. I'll set the springiness to 10. Finally, we have crop and feather controls to give you complete control over the look of the graphic, such as making the footage look like it's appearing or moving in front of or behind other footage. I have a simple two-line lower third I'd like to animate on. I'll search for L third in the animation presets. I'll drop the L third divided spin clock onto the title. In its default state, it's pretty much ready to go. We have a few more parameters we could tweak, including Animate Around, which designates an anchor point to animate around. I can add a line to separate the two lines of text. I'll choose B Spin Opposite to get the second line to spin in the opposite way. Then the line fades out after the animation. Now I have a great lower third created in seconds. I've barely scratched the surface of the tons of great animations you get with Alex 4D Animation Transitions. Once you have them, you'll get your projects done faster and wonder how you ever lived without them. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.